Hello friends, welcome to Kamenta and a very good morning to all of you. Today in this video we are going to talk about something which is very important regarding your NEET preparation. If you are preparing for NEET and if you are confused that what to study, how to study, how to manage time, then this video is a perfect solution for you. So let me start today's video. First of all you have to know the syllabus. Uh, know the entire syllabus of NEET is question pattern and what the questions are being asked, what is the difficulty level and uh, you must analyze the whole question paper. You take 2018 question paper of NEET and go through each and every questions and try to analyze those questions are taken from which topics. Now coming to another important thing that is time. You must know how to efficiently manage your time. You have to plan well before you do anything. If you are going to study tomorrow, so you have to plan one day before what you are going to study tomorrow. And then you must be self-disciplined and you must maintain consistency in your study routine. So we are taking that we have six months starting from October to March. You have six months for effective preparation. I have not included April because in April you can be busy with solving mock test question papers only. Now, how to utilize the six months? You have to devote at least six hours every day for need preparation. Physics for two hours, chemistry two hours, and biology two hours. You can study physics in the morning, chemistry in the afternoon, and uh, biology in the evening. You must maintain this study routine from Monday to Saturday. You can study the theory and questions. On Monday, suppose you are studying theories of physics, chemistry, and biology. On Tuesday, you should solve questions related to the studies, uh, questions related to the topics that you have studied on these subjects. So you should uh, study this in an um, alternative way. One day for theory, another day uh, problems, theory problems. So in this way, you must prepare effectively. And another thing is that on Sunday, you can be busy only with solving question paper. You can take mock test, you can solve test series questions in this way. You can prepare yourself. So in this case, remember that time is a very important factor and you must know how to effectively use them. Now coming to materials. Many students are confused what to study. NCRT book is the solution for you. NCRT books are good for chemistry and biology. For physics, you can have to refer some other study materials. Try to read each and every line of NCRT and try to elaborate it because in NCRT books they have been written in a concise way. You may not be understanding everything. So in that case, you have to take the help of any good reference book or coaching modules. After going through new NCRT books and coaching modules, you must make your notes. You must make your own notes. Now your own notes should be comprised of various examples, exceptional cases, uh, past years questions and lots more. So in your notes copy, note copy, you must mention various examples, various, you must refer various books, you can take examples from various books and in one copy you will get everything, you should write everything that is required and in this way it will be a highly effective tool for revision before exam. You must have a good quality of question book. You must have a question bank of quality questions. Then you must solve past year's papers. You collect past 10 years question papers, past 20 years question papers and solve them. Try to know that um, <coughs> where from these questions have been picked up. And you will be surprised to know that though questions may look different, but the concept behind each question revolves the same. So concept basically are the same, but only questions will be different in a twisted way. Now you must join a test series. Why to join a test series? Because if you join a test series, what happens is it helps in building up your speed and accuracy. It tells your strengths and weaknesses. It helps you in managing your time and it has lots of advantages. Now coming to mistakes that most of the students make is collecting too much PDF materials. Many students join WhatsApp group and they download lots of unnecessary PDFs, lots of materials and they get confused what to study. In this case, I'll suggest my st uh, students that they should be selective. What is the best for them? 
what material is the best and they must be limited to certain PDFs. We should not expect too much from ourselves. Sometimes what happens, we expect too much from ourselves. We make a tight schedule that I'll study 10 hours, 12 hours, but we cannot do that. <coughs> Excuse me. So in that case, what we can do best is make, main, uh, make a flexible um, study routine makes it flexible something which you can follow a realistic study goal and this way it will help you better in uh, in your progress now this is another mistake that uh, students they do not attend test you must attend test if you attend test actually it helps in your effective preparation with study before test so actually it is forcing you to study before test once after once test is over then you come to know where do you stand and analysis you must analyze what are your mistakes once you have appeared a test you are making mistakes where are these mistakes from then you come to know that certain topics are not clear to you then you can seek help from your teachers from your friends from your seniors then you can get them clarified you must resolve your doubts instantly do not compile your doubts now many students they appear test and they come up with uh, less marks in the exams it is uh, maybe uh, because of bad preparation or because of lots of negative marking because many students they tick incorrect answers thinking that it might be correct but please friends remember that your probability of getting a correct answer is one by fourth is very less so in that case, please do not do any guesswork. Now, if you want to know how to reuse negative marking, I'll be uh, attaching below one PDF in the description. Please download them on how to reduce negative marking. It's very, very important. And finally, I want to talk about health. Your health is the main asset. Please take care of your health. Sleep at least for six hours. You, may, uh, you must take a proper healthy diet and you must maintain a good food habit you should not eat any time you feel like you have uh, if you uh, take your dinner at 8 pm every day try to take dinner at 8 pm lunch at uh, 12 noon so try to take at 12 noon so similarly you must maintain a consistent food habit you must be hygienic remember if you are hygienic you are healthy and if you are healthy you will be able to perform all the activities that have been listed here you must drink lots of water that will make you healthy again now coming to the uh, your target what should be my target in NEET 2019 how much marks should I score so uh, try to get 560 marks for botany, you should get uh, 40 correct answers, geology 40 correct answers, chemistry 35 correct answers, and physics 25 correct answers. And many students are still confused that how, how to study. So for that, I have uh, I have written a book, How to Excel in Exams, Special Attention to JNIT Preparation. So that book will be soon released in both hard copy and soft copy. So that's all for today and uh, thank you so much for watching this video and please do not uh, for, forget to hit the like button below and subscribe to this channel. So see you next in the next video with a strategic plan for management of your time. So thank you so much. Have a good day.